all I have to do is wave my magic wand and out go all the confusing parts, ding, and the boring parts, ding, and the inappropriate parts. <laughs> so, hmm, come with me on an adventure full of wonder and fairy magic. You're gonna get Shakespeare now whether you like it or not. Hey. Let's meet our four young Athenian lovers. <laughs> but since the budget constraints of park and recreation, we've got four young Athenian puppets. <laughs> we have puppets here. We all have puppets here. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is Hermia. She's so pretty. Everyone loves Hermia. Yes. And this is Lysander. He loves Hermia and she loves him. But her mean old dad wants her to marry someone else. Oh, I've been meaning to ask, can I play the dad too? I, the dad's got this great monologue. I love monologues. Do you know what a monologue is, boys and girls? A monologue is a long and oh so very important piece of dialogue all by one character. Some people say it's expository, but I think it's a great way to get to know someone in a relatively short amount of time. Matt, we forgot to get a changeling boy. Oh man, oh, oh wait. Children! Oh, we can just borrow one of the children! No, you can't steal the children with their parents there! No, you borrow them in the daylight, you steal them by dark. Ah. Hmm, any children out here wanting a changeling child? Change the changeling! Alright, right here, right here. Have a seat. Greetings! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, picnickers and random passers by, Rosarians if you be here. It is I, Oberon, king of the fairies. My wife has stolen from me a little changeling boy or three to have as a pet. That's not fair. I want that child to be my henchman. And I am Titania, queen of the fairies. And that is my changeling triplets. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What, jealous Oberon? Fairy skip hence I have forsworn his company. Terry, Rash Wharton, am I not thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. I do but beg three changeling children. These are the forgeries of jealousy. Another epic monologue! Wait a minute, whoa. And since this is a fairy monologue and not some crotchety old man, you get to do a whole thing. Every word. Bacon in his best. Jealousy, and never since the middle summer spring that we on hill and dale, forest or mead, by pavement fountain or rushing brook. Can you just ding me so we can get through this? No! <laughs> and with thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. And now, night is not blessed with hem nor carol. The moon, pale in her anger, washes the air of diseases. This evil comes from our debate, from our deception. Us fighting about these three very interesting looking children has messed up the entire planet. Why should Titania cross her Oberon? Give me those changeling children, not for thy fairy kingdom. Fairies away, kids, back to your parents. Thank you, children. Well, go my way. <laughs> the soul, and now she dogs, the fatly gods, dogs and idolatry upon this spot in its inconstant man. You two-timer. <laughs> Here's Helena. She's so sad. Demetrius was going out with her, and then he dumped her to chase after Hermia, her best friend. It's the axe or the nunnery. Just let me know what you decide. And Demetrius, I need to talk to you, young man. How now, my love? Why is your cheek so pale? A chance the roses there do fade so fast. Well, it's death or the nunnery. What do you think is wrong with her? Get a piece of apple. I would love one. Does that make it better for you to have him be bottom the weaver? We will have a prologue. A prologue's like a monologue. <laughs> a prologue? 
and monologue very close together. Yeah, yeah. Only uh, it's done by somebody who's not actually in the play. Yeah, yeah. A prologue is like a narrator, but only at the beginning of the show. Uh -huh. It kind of gets some of that exposition out of the way. It kind of tells you what's going to happen before it happens. Well, yeah, because Shakespeare can be kind of confusing at times. I mean, it, it helps just to have somebody tell you what's about to happen so you don't get confused and lost in the language. And yeah. don't worry, just because you don't understand bacon doesn't make you stupid. Wait. You're just not part of the intellectual class. No, no Will, Will, you can't call the audience stupid. We need them. It's a relationship. It's a free show. It doesn't no, we, matter. We, we need them. <laughs> Will, listen, if the performers understand what they're saying, the audience is going to get it through context. It's a free show. We will have a prologue. Can we move on now? <laughs> Lions! This be Pyramus Wall! Prologue! By our powers combined, we are Pyramus and Thisbe! In the same interlude, it does befall that I will by name do present a wall. And uh, such a wall as I would have you think had in it a uh, Crannied hole or uh, chain. And this cranny is right and sinister through which the lovers are to whisper. <laughs> it is the wittiest partition that I ever heard discourse. You're not helping. Okay, so here comes Pyramus. Oh, grim look, night. Oh, night with you so black. Oh, night, whichever art when day is not. Oh, night. Oh, night, alack, alack, alack. <laughs> I fear my Thisbe's promise is forgot. And thou, O oh wall, O oh sweet, O oh lovely wall, show me thy cheek to blink through with mine eye. <laughs> Thanks, courteous wall. But what see I? No Thisbe do I see. O oh, wicked wall. Cursed be thy stones for thus deceiving me. O oh, wall, full often hast thou heard my moans. My cherry lips have often kissed thy stones. I see a voice. Thisbe, my love. Oh, kiss me through the whole of this vile wall. <laughs> I kissed the walls whole, not your lips at all. <laughs> Thus have I, wall, my part discharged. So, <laughs> that being done, uh, away wall doth go. <laughs> oh, don't. Be nice. Okay. You ladies, you, whose gentle hearts do fear the small, monstrous mouse that creeps on the floor. Think about it like, think about it like, be rolling in his think about it like your puppy just died. No, I like, know. I'm the man Reach in the out and scream I'm it. I'm the man in the Say the words. I'm the man in the words. I'm the man in the mood. I'm the man in the mood. Yes. 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 Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Here we are at old Minnie's tomb. Ninus. Um, here, Ninus tomb. Yes. Where is my love? Oh, oh, well roared, lion. Well run, Thisbe. Uh, well shown moon, truly the moon shines with a good grace. Oh, she dances too. Oh, and then comes Pyramus. Sweet moon, I thank thee for thy sunny beams. I thank thee, moon, for shining now so bright. Don't let him get too close. For by thy gracious golden glittering gleams, I trust to take of truest Thisbe's sight. <laughs> but stay, who oh, spite, but mark poor knight, what dreadful dole is here? Eyes, do you see? How can it be? Oh, dainty duck, oh dear, thy mantle good. What? Stained with blood? Approach ye furies fell. Oh fates, come, come, cut, thread, and 
Yeah. From you Quill! Should, you should go. Crash! Go. Cut! Go. Cut. Go. <laughs> sit, sit, sit down! <laughs> Well, she's safe. I can do it. <laughs> oh, wherefore, nature, didst thou lie in frame? Since lion vile here hath deflowered my dear. I told you not to touch the flowers. You couldn't help it. Which is, no, no, which was the fairest dame that ever lived. Love, light, looked with cheer. Come tears confound, outsword, and wound the pap of Pyramus. I that left pap where heart doth hop. Thus die I. Thus. 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 Now am I dead. <laughs> hand in hand with fairy grace, we will dance and bless this place. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. Else? The puck, a liar call, so good night unto you all. And give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends.